Hey guys, welcome back to Ganchi Plans. Today's video is not sponsored, but Chocola, this brand, reached out to me and offered to send me these watercolor brush pens for review. And I have like not had a chance to open them and test them out for the last week since they arrived and I've been so excited to do it, but wanted to do it on camera to show you. So um, this is what they sent. It's a 28, set, 28 color set, um, includes two water brush pens and different tips. And I am not very good with watercolors, but I'm hoping that this is going to help me um, to sort of give it a try and do it like properly. I have a set of really cheap, just like, you know, watercolors uh, that I kind of just use for like a color wash sometimes. And anyway, this is what we've got. I think it'll be great because I can use them for brush lettering as well as trying out some watercolor art. So it comes on these two trays with all of these colors, which are crazy. I haven't had a good chance to like look at what the difference is. Like why is there two browns? They must be particularly different. So I'm gonna go through and swatch everything. Uh, let's see. Okay. This is just a little bit of a, I don't know, not much. Um, it comes with two trays of colors, so there's, let's see, 6, 9, 12, 15, is that right? 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14. I can count. There are 14 colors on each tray plus the water brush, so it's 28 actual colors plus two water brushes. And then it also comes with this um, 15 sheet watercolor pad. So I'm going to open that and let you know that there is a, um, a coupon code if you're interested after watching this review and trying out any of these products or anything else from chocola.com. They also have like chalk pens. Um, I was also interested in trying their, um, their chalkboard with like the, the chalk pens because I think that's pretty cute. My mom has one of those in her kitchen and she sets it up for different occasions. Um, the coupon code is Rebecca V 10. So I will uh, link that down below as well. If you're interested in trying any of this out for yourself. So let me see. The, the top, the cover of this is glued to the top page, I think. I think I'm going to have to cut the paper out of here. It's kind of hard to tell. But it does come with watercolor paper, which is nice and thick. I mean, this is only 15 sheets, so you can see it's quite thick. Um, which is good, because normally I try watercoloring on like normal printer paper and that's not super helpful. Um, let me refill these up as well so we can test them out. All right, so I didn't show you at my sink, but um, these actually twist kind of backwards, just so you know that. They righty they righty loosey lefty tighty, which is weird, um, but you just have to figure that out. So let's go ahead and start with some swatches. Um, that will be the most straightforward way, I think, to get an idea of what these do. We've got um, just, yeah, colored barrel. these colors are very vivid I got that impression from looking at them in the tray but even now that they're on the paper and it probably has something to do with the quality of the paper as well um, that there are some very nice bright colors in here they lay down a lot of nice ink but like not as much as I would expect because my only experience with brush pens really is like Tombow's um, and I have like the zebra mild liner uh, brush pens they're like lettering brush pens. These ones really are watercolor brush pens. Um, and you can tell that like they're buildable. Um, and I'm really excited to try out some actual art with them. I'm not going to get to that today. Um, I'm just going to be testing them, I think a little bit with lettering, but first I want to see what it kind of is like to do I like a, a gradient with these water brushes, because I'm curious how that's going to work. All right. First, I'm going to try something with, Let's see what colors I even like to use for this. I think I really liked 
this one. And I guess this one here, these two greens. Um, I'm going to see first what happens if I sort of lay down some ink on the palette. And by palette, I mean this Ikea plate from our cupboard. <laughs> and then grab this water pen. So the top of the water pen just pops right on and off. The, um, the barrel screws on like I already showed you and it is not wet yet. It does need to be sort of primed. Tap in the plate until we see some water coming out. There we go. So it's not gonna leak on you, I don't think, because of that. So this is the like brush one. Uh, see the cap goes on the end as well, so that's good. I'm gonna try just to see what happens if I collect a little bit of this and you know, so it's a nice like sort of gentle wash of color. Just uh, cleaning it on a piece of scrap paper I have over here. And I'm gonna try to pick up some of the next color. See what I, I don't know if I have to give it a little squeeze. Hmm. Have I mentioned that I don't know what I'm doing? Yeah, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm gonna kind of like, I don't know, give it some, maybe I'm making a leaf now. What do we think of that? I'll make it a leaf. Kind of try to smooth it out a little bit. Get this water. Yep, I don't know what I'm doing. If anyone uh, in the comments has any experience with watercolors at all, please do send your best tips down to the comments below. Um, my plan, my hope is that I'm going to find time to do like some tutorials, to, like find some videos um, to sort of teach me the basics of watercoloring. And when I do that, I'm going to see if I can live stream it. I just thought that would be a lot of fun to um, just kind of flounder on camera a little bit. Um, I'm going to try to blend a couple of the pens by themselves as well and just see how that works without the water brush. Um, there's also the second water brush here, by the way, which has a flat end here. I'm going to squeeze out a little bit into the plate to prime it a little bit. There we go. So that looks like... this you can do some like you can do some calligraphy with that uh i maybe it's also good for just like filling an area like to do a wash you could probably get a nice effect in fact let's try this with like a purple doing sort of a, a wash and let it like dilute as I go. Hmm. See, that's nice. That was easy. So it gives it a little bit of like a, a little bit of a stripiness that you see like brush lines, but that gives a really nice gradient there. Um, I think I might just do that as like a simple background and could do some like, you know, pen brush lettering over the top and make that like a cover page in my planner. That would be really cool. And that would be pretty foolproof. Right, let's pick a couple colors and I'm going to try, like I said, to do a gradient with some lettering and see what happens. I'm going to pick this teal and... the light green here. Alright. So I think that I kind of just want to do a 
basic brush letter one color first I think that's how this works and then kind of go over from one side sort of blend it together. Water pen, I mean, no, maybe it's not wet enough. Well, that is going to take some experiment, experimenting. What happens if you, maybe do I stop the purple down? Here's a word. And then let's see, wash that out. And pick something, something even darker. I guess black is darker. <laughs> Didn't plan that out very well. color maybe not enough water Get that to work right all right yeah that's see I knew I picked the right word <laughs> all right well there we go that's me playing around with these my first impressions I'm really excited to try to use these some more um, if you are interested in getting into brush pen I mean into uh, watercolor and brush pens I think are a nice way to make this kind of accessible to myself um, because for one thing like I don't have to worry about investing in the right pen because it's all built in they're really nice quality like pigments as far as I can tell <laughs> at least compared to the cheap versions that I got from Michaels forever ago um, I like that the water brushes here these are you know I can use these with my other colors if I get new ones you know fancier watercolors I can always use these with those as well but I think this is a good place for me to start and I'm really looking forward to doing some more um, lettering, some art, some like cover pages for my planner in here and um, I am going to take you along on that journey as well. So if you're interested in any of these products from Chocola, I will put the link um, with my uh, affiliate code down below if you're interested in checking that out. Otherwise, don't forget to subscribe so that you don't miss that live stream if it ever happens. And also, please do comment all of your best ideas and suggestions and advice uh, down below because I'm sure that I was doing all of this very wrong. Thanks so much. Talk to you in the next one. Bye.